What's up there YouTube? Thanks for coming back to Brian's Kitchen where we whip up a bunch of recipes, we have a lot of fun here, and hopefully we'll teach you something new while we're doing this. Today we are making something that we make all the time with ours, which is homemade salsa. And I guarantee you, when you try it in the Vitamix, you will never buy store-bought salsa again. Here's the ingredients. Okay, so to start with, we're going to take our tomatoes and we're just going to cut them in half. These are the Roma tomatoes, which are a little more meaty, um, but they still have a little bit of that juice on the inside. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna split them in half like this. I'm gonna open up my garbage or your organics bin and just squeeze out the juices from them so that all you're left with is basically this and none of those juices, because you don't want this to, salsa to be too watery. Okay, so now that we've got our tomatoes, we are going to take off our lid and start dumping them in there, just like so. Okay, next on the list, remember, this is a raw salsa. So, a lot of onion, you're going to taste. It's going to taste like a lot of onion if you put too much in there. So, we're just going to use one small slice of this red onion. And that's about it. Just like that. Dump it in. Now for a little bit of flavor here, we're going to use some seeded jalapeno. I chopped it up a little bit. If you want to add a little bit of heat, maybe keep seeds in half of it. Or all of it. Maybe you like it really hot. But we just like the flavor of jalapeno because my bowels don't agree with me when I have hot stuff. So there you have it. <laughs> now. We're also going to add in some fresh cilantro. Cilantro is one of those things that, again, optional. You can make salsa however you want, but cilantro is one of those things people either love it or they hate it. We love it in this house, so we're throwing in cilantro. And you can see I didn't really do any chopping to it. It's just the leaves without the stems because the machine is going to do all of that food processing work for us. Now, I'm going to throw in a lime, but first, I'm going to roll the lime like this just to loosen it up. Cut it like so, and squeeze my lime in, just like that. You can put as much or as little in as you like. Okay. So again, another optional ingredient here would be garlic. We really love garlic in this house too, so, you know, if you don't like garlic, then don't add any in, but I'm just gonna put in one clove of garlic, because believe me, one clove is more than enough. So I'm not even going to cut it up or anything. I'm just going to toss it in like so. Um, last but not least, you want to season it a little bit. So we're going to use a little bit of salt and pepper. So what I usually do is I, I go by maybe about a teaspoon of salt. I don't really know what, uh, I don't really have a teaspoon on me at the moment, but I'm just going to pour a little bit into my hand. So as you can see, just a little bit like so. And you just kind of do 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 do. Sprinkle it in there just like that. Grab the old pepper mill, give her a few <laughs> shakes like so. And now we are ready to actually make the salsa. Yeah. So we've got our lid on, we've got our tamper stick, which this stick is used to plunge all of the ingredients down into the blade. Do you have to use this? Yes, <laughs> because otherwise there's no wet ingredients in here to push the ingredients down. So use the stick. Make sure you always use it with the lid on. As long as that lid's on, the stick will never touch the blades. With that lid off, you're gonna decorate the ceiling. All right? So for this particular one, we're going to use a lower speed. We're gonna, that means we're gonna flip it down to low, and we're gonna use this speed dial on the front to be able to adjust how fast the blades are gonna to move to give us what kind of chunk that we want. Typically, I don't go past about five. So I'm going to start off on low and increase it to about three or four and start using that tamper stick and, and show you how it turns out. Okay, let's go. Make sure that lid's on nice and tight. Don't let it go for too long. 
too long. Okay, I only want to let it go for about 10 seconds or so. Uh, just because you don't want it to puree everything into like a soup, you still want it to be kind of chunky. So now let's pour it into a bowl. Just like that. And I guess we should give it a shot and see how good it tastes. I already know that it tastes good because we make this all the time, so don't be fooled by how it looks. It tastes a lot better than it looks. Let's see. Hmm. Exactly how I anticipated it. Awesome. And there you have it. That is homemade salsa in the Vitamix machine. Believe me, it's the best salsa you've ever had. You'll never buy store-bought stuff ever again. I just want to thank all of you for coming by my channel today. It means a ton to me. All 78 of you that decided to come and subscribe to my channel. Doesn't sound like a lot, but 78 of you mean a lot to me. And that's why I keep doing this, and I just want to thank you so much. So if you learned something new here, if you're brand new to this machine, I hope you learned something. Leave a comment down below. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. And hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you again for coming. Don't forget to subscribe.